Brad Kozlowski on the throne in Atlanta. More like a game of stones, the way he had to come back. It took some guts, and uh, he's joining us from Victory Lane and celebrating his first Atlanta win. You did not have, Brad, a speeding penalty. How were you able <laughs> to avoid that when so many others did, and it played into the end of this race? Oh, Chris, it's early season, man. Things like this happen. <laughs> Heck, sometimes they happen late in the season, so hold on. Let me knock on some wood here. i got to find something. But, uh, you know, things are going to happen. These 500-mile races, Chris, uh, and I think Michael's there with you, they are full of so much adversity. And it's amazing the difference uh, that the 400 or 500 mile races can make to the complexion of the race. I think we saw at the end there were all kinds of different things that happened with speeding penalties, loose wheels, pit stops. Uh, and that's why uh, I love 500 mile races and it played out good for us today. But hey, you know, we've been on the other side of this, Chris. Yeah. We've been at races, I think we had a race uh, a year and a half ago at Texas. We led uh, 390 some laps uh, and almost won, but lost on the last five laps. So, you know, they, they can go either way. And, and I kind of feel bad for Kevin because I've been on his side of it. But when they when the op opportunity opens and the doors open, you got to strike, you got to take it. And we were able to do that here today. You know, Brad, I talked to you before the race, and you told me you were confident in your car. You thought you had one of the best cars in the garage area. How do you keep your spirits up when you just get beat lap after <laughs> lap after lap by one guy? Yeah, you know, Kevin is, is really good here, and he deserves a lot of credit. And, and his, his crew chief, Rodney Childress, they, they build great cars. But, you know, i got a great team, too. And uh, I believe in them, and I believe that we're going to keep working on it. Uh, there's all ki types of tools to adjust on these things, and, and my guys were turning every knob they could find. Michael to try and find it there at the end, and the last two runs of the race were our best runs, yep. and, and so they saved it for when it counted, and you, you have to have that belief that your guys can do that, and, and I have it, my guys, uh, and they did an excellent job here today. Yeah, and we saw that, Brad. We were able to listen in on the radio when there was the lug nut issue, and your crew chief, you know, Paul Wolf apologizing, you lose 13 spots, but there was enough time for you uh, to stay calm with the team and make up that ground. Yeah, 13 spots and 70 laps, that's uh, no easy chore, especially when you have the lap down cars in between you to go with it. So really it's about 25 to 30, but uh, you know, you can't sit and complain about it. You gotta keep your head down, you gotta get to work. <laughs> right. And uh, you know, I think that's what we did as a team. You know, you, you have to have the heart of a champion to overcome adversity like you were faced today. I heard on the radio where you told your team, we win together and we lose together. That's just gotta really pump those guys up to say, that's our guy, we wanna get behind him. We saw the same thing from Harvick. He was hugging, hugging Rodney and telling him how much he appreciated the team. That's what it takes to be champion. How do you dig down and do that? Uh, you got to believe. I mean, it, this this is not meant to be easy. This is meant to be as hard as it can be. Uh, you got you know 39 other guys to beat. They're some of the best competitors in the world. Uh, you got a racetrack that eats the tires up, a race car that's melting down on fire. Uh, you, you have every level of adversity you can have to to win and to persevere and to have to overcome, Michael. Um, but you know what? That's what I signed up for, and that's what I love about it, and that's what makes winning special, racing special at the highest level, which is the NASCAR Monster Cup Series. Yep. And you have said you, you know, you're fortunate to be in racing. You would have enlisted in the military. I, I know your uh, checkered flag foundation does a lot for military personnel and first responders, so fitting. We always like to see you, as patriotic as you are, uh, celebrating with the flag, and especially in the Folds of Honor event here in Atlanta. I know it's very important to you. Yeah, it is, and uh, I'm glad to... Uh, have the chance to say thank you right now to all those serving or who have served that are willing to go out there and put their butt on the line. You know, talk about heroes, it's not me driving a race car, it's those guys. So I'm just out here driving my guts out for my team. Those guys are putting their life on the line. So uh, two totally different scenarios and, and we try to show respect when we can and, and appreciation. And uh, we have that for those that are watching today and, and who are serving that aren't watching. Uh, tell us about that move on Kyle Larson. Larson said he felt like he needed to move up to take the air away from your car, and you cut right to the bottom. That was a bold move, and it, it worked for you. You know, you just, you got to find a way. Um, and that's what these races are about. You have to find a way to succeed. And, and we had a car that was capable. It was just a, a matter of finding the, the right lane, the right groove, and the right opportunity. And it came together there at the end. So it's a check mark, Atlanta. We can add that to your list of accomplishments. So we go on the West Coast swing. Brad, which is always exciting because after Las Vegas, it's Phoenix, then the Auto Club in Fontana, California. You've won two of the last three Las Vegas races. Uh, what are the odds? <laughs> uh, looking pretty good right now, yeah. but, uh, you know, we can't rest on our laurel, uh, laurels. We have to keep staying and, and keep pushing our team to, to go to work. Got to always have speed in the cars, and you got to execute on pit road and, and do all those things. I have to execute as a driver, so believe me, we're not going to be happy with just one win this season.
And you know what? You're the first, the first time Ford's won the first two races of the season since 2009. And we've had to start the season back to back newlyweds uh, winning <laughs> in Ford's. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. But uh, <laughs> does that mean Dale Jr. is going to win next week? Uh oh, well, yeah. oh, my oh, God. Well, he's not at, a, it. not at a Ford. Brad, thanks for your time. <laughs> we always enjoy talking to you. We'll see you out in Vegas. Thank you very much, Chris. Michael, appreciate you guys and everything Fox does for our sport.